Kansas City. Here we come. The Royals coming up next. Thursday night baseball on the show as we join you from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight, the road trip continues with the first of four between the Central Division leading Cleveland Indians and the Kansas City Royals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you for this AL Central Division matchup. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, a good matchup on the mound here in this opener. Well, and you know, these two teams, of course, very familiar with one another. It's the start of another division series. So you know those two men right there have a huge task in front of them, trying to give their ball club a leg up right here in the opener. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along. But first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Cleveland Indians as they'll align themselves like this here tonight. They'll match up against a guy that was a big part of the James Shields-Will Myers deal a few years back, the veteran right-hander Wade Davis. And the Royals defensively will look like this behind him. Jason Kipnis makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this Leading evening. Tonight for Cleveland, second baseman, Jason Kipnis. First of four here to start the weekend as the game's first pitch is taken and it's strike one. E.K., let's take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Yeah, and this game's not always that hard. You hit the ball, you throw the ball, you catch the ball, but lately they haven't been doing any of the three particularly well. That's going to need to change, and soon. Here it comes. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. A look there at our scouting report. We already know about the cutter. We saw it right there, but here's the rest of the arsenal that we'll see heading forward. Carlos Santana will stand in for the first time now. 24 home runs to his credit so far this year. Now here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. And the pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. One out, nobody on. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. Aoki back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Nick Swisher will dig in now. And as you can see, he's right up there in the American League batting race, currently second entering play. First pitch on the way. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. 
<laughs> so would the guy on the mound. The pitch. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. And Aoki will put this one away to retire the side. Down in order go the Tribe. And now the Royals get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Starting lineup for the Royals looks like this. And there you see the starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. Defensively, the Indians will line up this way. Here now is Nori Aoki to start things out in the home half of inning number one. Right fielder, Nori Aoki. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Now the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. EK, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. And as usual, it all starts with the pitching. I mean, don't get me wrong, the offense, it's done its part too, but you don't run into a lot of six-game win streaks where you're just outscoring teams. They've gotten some real quality starts over this stretch. Here it comes, two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Two-two pitch on the way. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Well, that one looked like for all the world it was a sure single leading off the inning. It was certainly hit hard enough, but evidently it was hit a little too hard as it winds up getting flagged down, and that's just a tough break. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Here's the pitch. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0-2. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Pitch on the way. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Here comes the one, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Sets the two, two pitch. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Here he comes on two and two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. And these long at-bats give you a good sense of what a guy's featuring here in the first inning. Full count pitch on its way. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Murphy is there, two gone. Batting third, designated hitter, Billy Butler. Billy Butler will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. First pitch coming. 
fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. You'd have to say, so far, so good here for the rookie. Yeah, I mean, he's getting ahead, he's mixing his pitches. You'd like to put up a zero to get that first inning out of the way, and he's close to making that happen. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. And you go back to the call on that very first pitch, how important that was. Now instead of a one and one count, you're at 2-0 and oh with a really dangerous hitter up there. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2-1 and one now. Well, he's been in a tough stretch offensively, and this sure ain't going to help. A 2-1 offering. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. KC down in order. We played an inning. No score. Brandon Moss will stand in for the first time here. 30 home runs for him on the season so far. Now here's the first pitch. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's the 1-1. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting catcher, Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes will come forward now, back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. Come on, and here's the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. and Here comes the 1-0. Fastball in there for a strike, 92 on the radar gun that time. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Ready now on 1-1. One and one. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Will get him at first, and Davis is looking good here. Two gone. Now, these infielders have been busy early on, and that's another ground ball out for them. Probably not going to be the last one we see either. David Murphy will stand in, hoping for a reversal of fortune here, as he's seen that average drop precipitously these past 10 ball games. Here's the first offering. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Especially starting off an at-bat. Now here's the pitch. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. Taken by Infante. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Eric Hosmer will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. First baseman, Eric Hosmer. First pitch coming. In there, no balls and a strike. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Let's go, Casey. And the pitch. On, Casey. Let's go. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. And Murphy there to make the grab, one away. 
So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. Alex Gordon will stand in now as he was reinserted back into the lineup here after taking a needed day off yesterday. First offering on the way. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. The fastball looks awfully sharp here early on. Sound sharp, too. Now here it comes. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. The one one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Bottom of the second here with no score. 2-1. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Well, this is just a nice play right here, ranging up the middle. You can see that he doesn't try to rush things here. He just gathers it, steadies himself just for a brief second to square himself up, and then makes a good throw on target to get his man. Mike Moustakis will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. Here's the first offering. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Now the pitch. Fouled straight back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's another 0-2. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Royals go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Ryan Rayburn will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. First pitch coming. And we'll start the third with a swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And more often than not, when you see a guy with a batting average like his is, it's a result of swinging at too many bad pitches. I should know. I was that guy. And his average is going to tumble even further after that at bat. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in for the first time now, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark to begin play. Here's the first pitch to him. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. The next pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. Over to the bag with it is Hosmer, and he'll get the out. Batting ninth, shortstop, Zach Walters. Zach Walters will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Get 
Now the first pitch. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. And an easy play there for Mustakas, and that ends the inning. Just a four-pitch inning there as the Indians go down quietly. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Reggie Priest will come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. First pitch to him. At third, Chisholm Hall. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Yeah, on a slow chopper like that, that is the third baseman's ball if he can get to it. He's got the momentum going the right way towards first base. So he'll just cut right in front of the shortstop and make that play to first. Omar Infante will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin playing. Here it comes now to Infante. And that's in there for strike one. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. And now a pitch on the way. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Hey, if you like a good pitcher's duel, it looks like we've got one brewing right here. Two outs now in the bottom of the third, and both of these guys look like they have their good stuff. Lorenzo Cain will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Now here's the first pitch. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. Huh. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Right, 1-0 on the way. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. KC down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Jason Kipnis will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Now the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is foul for the first strike. Pitch on the way. And a bouncing ball, foul. Now the pitch. And here's a ball rolled foul. Still two strikes. O2 once more, and he reaches for one out of his own and misses rather badly for the first out. Well, just a whole bunch of nothing going on so far. No runs, no hits, no errors on either side. You know, I think the scoreboard operator might as well just go home. Carlos Santana will stand in, a line-out victim his first time. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning, nothing-nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here, 
Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Here's a ball lifted in the air for Nori Aoki in right. And that's out number two. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Nick Swisher will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. And now he drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Indians go down one, two, three. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Nori Aoki will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Right fielder. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. This is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Now here's the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And the pitch. And here's a curveball. Look at strike three called. And that's the first out of the inning. And these two teams right back at it tomorrow night. We'll have coverage of game two of the series in high definition on the show as you get a look there at the two starters scheduled to oppose one another. I'll see this Escobar. We'll try it again. He flew out his first time. And here's the first pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Come on, Royal. One out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's 1-2. and two. Oh, Nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at-bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Well, so much for your number one and two guys being your table setters. I and mean, they're both gone now on back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's the D.H. Billy Butler. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Here's the 1-0 pitch now to Butler. Out of play. No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here comes a 1-2. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. Royals go down 1-2-3 three, through 4. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Brandon Moss will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Right fielder, 
Brandon Moss. Here comes the pitch to Moss. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now here it comes. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the pitch. Lined hard to center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Jan Gomes will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first offering. In there, and it's 0-1. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone. Then maybe your offense can go from there. The pitch. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Center field well, this seven. ball is rifled down that left field line. It wasn't fair by much. You'll see it just to the right of the chalk. And he's going to hustle himself up to second with a hard hit double. Here's David Murphy now. As this is pot foul behind the plate, it's strike one. He's set, now the pitch. And he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. Kane is there now, and he has it, two gone. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Ryan Rayburn will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The one oh home. And a strike to even the count. One and one. One one on the way. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Back with Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. Matt Vaskersian here as Eric Hosmer gets ready to start things out for Kansas City. First offering on the way. Lays off 1 and 0. One thing you can say with certainty, he's really tried to take some ownage on that inside part of the plate. It's something that you need to learn as a young pitcher. You've got to have that willingness to work inside, or guys at this level will just lean out over the plate and eat you up. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. The 1 1. 
hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Ready with the two one. Well, he's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. And this will kick off the wall out near the Kansas City bullpen. And he'll round it and try for third. And he is in there. What a way to pick up your team's first hit of the ballgame. They've been totally shut down to this point, but he makes great contact on this one, and he's going to wind up hustling all the way over to third with a triple. Alex Gordon will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. And Gordon swings and pulls his pitch down the line in right, but it's back up into the crowd. Foul. He's ready now. The pitch. Here's a fastball at the oh, knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big ball. boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Here's the 1-2. To two balls and two strikes now. When he's down 0 and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2 and 2, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Fouled back. The 2 2 one more time. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3 and 2. On deck, Mike Mustakis. Three and two, here it is. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners at the corners now with still nobody out. Mike Mustakis will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. On the ground for Kipnis, this could be two. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Well, I think you really have to question this decision here for him trying to get the out at the plate. Maybe if it's hit to a corner infielder, but this was always going to be a long shot, and he winds up beating the throw easily. Stepping in now, Reggie Priest, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. He's ready, now the pitch. And now a curveball as he nearly got him. Now the 1-1. One, one. And a double steal try here. Here's a ball chopped toward the second baseman. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Yeah, not sure how this one's going to be scored. This was going to be a dicey proposition trying to get that guy at second base. And as you see, not only is that throw to second late, but the return throw to first is late as well. So they're not going to get anybody. Omar Infante to stand in as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Well, right here is where you've got to be smart out there. 
They've got nowhere to put you, so we probably won't be working the corners. 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. You get the sense he's starting to panic a little bit out there. He's not following through on any of his deliveries, and some of his pitches aren't all that close to the strike zone. 2-0 on the way. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Here it comes now to Infante. Here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting toward the third base dugout, and Chisenhall calls for it and takes it for the first down. And now that would have fallen under the infield fly rule if it was a fair ball. But no matter, he goes over to make the catch here in foul territory. Now is Lorenzo Kane. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. The 1-0. 2-0 now. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up. And that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. 2-0 count. The pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Swing and a miss, 2-2 two and two now. Oh, and he had a pitch to hit right there, too. He just didn't hit it. Here's the 2-2 two and two offering. Chopper foul one run two hits and no errors so far for the Royals the 2-2 one more time and this is swung on and missed oh a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now oh, if there was ever a time for a strikeout that that was it the bases remain loaded with two away now so you know if they can get out of this with only one run scoring that'd be quite a comeback Nori Aoki will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. Here's the first offering. You know, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out and the inning is over. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Lonnie Chisenhall will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. Yeah, and I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that one is out of here. Planted into the right field bleachers. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 13 for him on the year. And with it, the Indians have leveled the score at one apiece. And as a pitcher, when your guys aren't scoring any runs for you, it makes things awfully difficult out there for you. I mean, he's held them off for as long as he could, but now with one swing, this is a completely different ball game. The batter, number six, shortstop. Into the box now, Zach Walters, as he swings and pops this one foul off to the right out of play. Here it comes. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gordon is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. 
Yeah, it looked like this might be much more off the bat, but this ballpark has really played large tonight. And, you know, we've seen a few balls right now really get knocked down out there. Jason Kipnis will dig in with one in and one away. Now the first pitch. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. This play right here is all about getting a great read and a good angle on the ball when it's hit. Great jump, runs it down, and that saves extra bases. Carlos Santana will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. First pitch coming. Oh, this ball's well hit. It's going to split the gap in left center. Santana will take the turn and head for second now. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Here's another look. This fastball's of the two-seam variety. Running away from him at the plate. And if you try to pull it, you roll over it. Instead, he goes right with it and winds up with a double. Here's the switch hitting Nick Swisher. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One for Cleveland thanks to this swing from Lonnie Chisenhall. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead, all even at one apiece. Alcides Escobar will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Oh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. Pitch on the way. Fouled back. Now another 0-2. And this is hit well towards the hole. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. And here's where, on the mound, you got to tell yourself, he did everything right there. This was an 0-2 pitch, and he did a great job of getting him to hit it on the ground. Just happens to find a hole on the right side. What are you going to do? Billy Butler will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Now the first pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. Step on the bag for one. On to first, and Butler is a double play victim. Two away now. This is a nice play up the middle. You can see this ball takes the shortstop right to the bag, so He'll just step on second and fire on to first for the double play. Eric Hosmer will come on now, and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Royals' bats are quiet there. Score remains tied one to one.
Back here at Kauffman Stadium here in Kansas City. All square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Brandon Moss will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. That's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and a very even game through six innings. First pitch on the way. Here's a bolt out to right center, and on the first pitch of the inning, he's going to have himself a base hit. And this guy's had his way with him so far, so maybe this is the way to change things up. Maybe go into attack mode up there. Kind of get the sense that they've been a little too passive, so this is a nice first pitch single. Now here comes Kansas City manager Ned Yost making that slow walk to the mound. And he's going to make a change as that's going to do it for Wade Davis. He'll depart with our score tied and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first. And the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Ted Williams will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Jan Gomes will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Infante for one. On to first and how about that? He comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play ball with one pitch. And you know what? You just can't ask for much more than this coming out of the bullpen. That's exactly why they turn to him. They get the good matchup, and he comes in and delivers a double play ball to take away some of the pressure. And now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both a southpaw and a right-hander get loose. Here's David Murphy now as he gets under the first pitch and sends a fly ball out to a right field. Aoki is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. We'll see Alex Gordon to start things out when we come back. All tied at one and one. And there is Alex Gordon. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1-1 tie. Alex Gordon. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Do you even bother with anything else here? No, I sure wouldn't. As a hitter, you're thinking, look for fastball, adjust for an off-speed pitch. And so far in this at-bat, he hasn't made any adjustments. A ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. Not too sure how you take that one on 0-2. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either. Now the 1-2 home to Gordon. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there, or was he just trying to set me up for that changeup away? And he goes the other way and sends this deep, but ooh, this will be a long foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and Gordon's down on strikes for out number one. Here's a look at his pitches by inning so far. That last one was number 84, so they're getting near the point where they'll need to start keeping tabs on him. Mike Moustakis will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first offering. 
Oh. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still here in the catcher's mitt, snapping all the way up here. Open stance by Masakis, and now the pitch. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot oh, as it's a cold strike two. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Reggie Priest will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First pitch coming. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. The 1 0. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. Boy, a real good effort that time out there in right field. I thought he had a good shot of getting there, but you see the leap comes up just a little short, and that's going to allow this guy to make it up to second here with a double. Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. He departs in a tie ball game, but is responsible for that runner at second. So the best he can hope for is a no decision here. Scott Atchison will get the ball looking to get the final out now here in this seventh inning. Scott Atchison. Omar Infante to stand in. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. Here it comes now to Infante. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. Here's the one one. Late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. From the stretch. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Royals leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Ryan Rayburn will stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. First pitch coming. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Think you'll see another one of those before this at-bat's through? <laughs> After that swing? I think you can just about take that to the bank. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's one heading for the hole, and the go-ahead run is aboard to start the inning here. That's into left, a leadoff single. The third baseman, number eight. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far.
Here's the first offering. And this is fouled back and out of play. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. He's set. Now the pitch. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Low roller and he barehands it. Throw's going to go on to first. So a perfect sacrifice there is now the go ahead run moves into scoring position here. Oh man, what a terrific play right there. That ball was rolling and it stayed low. So he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab. Then a quick release, a nice throw to first in time to get the runner. You can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now. In now, Zach Walters. Fastball, and this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. But one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, and with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. 1-0 pitch now. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And look out. That might have got him right in the chest. And, mm, looked like he really left himself open after he released. And this ball came back and got him pretty good. And without speculating too much here, it's looking, at this point at least, like he will be able to continue out there. We should hope. Jason Kipnis will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Runners are at first and third, one away. He waits. Now the pitch. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Nice job right there of hitting with the runner in scoring position. He just gets out in front and yanks his ball right through the hole. And that'll score that runner easily from third base. Aaron Crow will come on and try to get out of this mess here as there are two on with only one away. Carlos Santana will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. First offering on the way. Now the double steal is on here. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. Better throw here might have gotten him at third, but you see it's high, and he's able to get into third on the front end of a double steal. The Royals get some action in the bullpen going now as the left-hander starts to throw. Now the 1-0. Comes back with a bullet of a fastball. That's in there, one and one. And the infield behind him has come in here, but I've got a feeling he's going to try to handle this one himself. Runners are at second and third with one down. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. A big pitch here, one and two. That's hard hit back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And he is in to score as well. Two big insurance runs there as they've upped the lead now to three. Boy, that's a tough time out there for your outfield to let you down. Two runs are going to come in to score on the play. And that was just a total lack of concentration. That's embarrassing. 
Nick Swisher will stand in and they've been able to hold him in check so far 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one usually a major force in their offense. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. Here's the first pitch to him. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Three runs already home here. Pause, now the pitch. And he gets under this one and in fact breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. You want to see what a good hard slider can do when you get it in on the label? Here, here you go and show motion. That is effective pitching, let me tell you. Standing in now, Brandon Moss, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Yeah, and you got to be careful that you don't go up there helping them out, especially if you get that feeling that they're trying to work around you. Here comes the pitch to Moss. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0-2. And, and that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Come set. Now the pitch. Can't put him away as he delivers a shot into left center. That should be good enough for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a 5-1 to one ball game. Well, that's what he's done well all season. Mets swing the bat with runners in scoring position. He drives in another one here on the RBI double. Tim Collins will enter the ball game out of the pen as he'll look to get the final out here in the top of inning number 8. Jan Gomes will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. First pitch coming. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch and the inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Cleveland's out in front, 5-1. to one. Lorenzo Cain will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Lorenzo Cain. Brian Shaw is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Brian Shaw. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Ah, not the greatest at bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95 plus mile an hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Some stirring now in the Cleveland bullpen. They'll get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing. Ah, he can't get him to bite this time. It's one and two. Yeah, a uh, smart pitch there. If you got him to reach for it 0 and 1, Maybe he'll do it again 0-2. Now the 1-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. You saw the numbers when he came in a minute ago. He is yet to give up an earned run this year, so you can't ask for a whole lot more than that from one of the keys to your bullpen. Nori Aoki will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0-3 for 3 thus far. 
Now the first pitch took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. Now here's the pitch. And this will be fouled away. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. R will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Now the first pitch. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. 5-1 our score as we play the eighth. Now the pitch. And that's off his leg on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. KC down in order. They're down here 5-1. David Murphy will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Number seven, David Murphy. First pitch to him. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Yeah, when Matt's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is into right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots this ball right back up the middle. Stepping in now, Ryan Rayburn, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Has a look, now the pitch. Swing and a line drive, but this is going to get foul. From the belt, kicks and deals. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. One, two. Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. Kane will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Yeah, not his most fluid swing there. You could see he wasn't really able to generate a whole lot of torque there, and this is an easy play out in center field. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, he hammers it. If not, he's about three feet too late. He's ready. Now the pitch. This ball will be chopped foul. Runners on first with one down. From the stretch. And a fastball. Blew it right by him, and there are two down. I love this pitch right here. Just an elevated fastball with two strikes. Nothing much to it. He just says, this is just a good old country fastball, and he runs it right by him.
Into the box, Zach Walters, as he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. He's ready now, the pitch. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And the throw to first just about takes him out as it skips up and over him. And when things are going well, these are the little things that just seem to start going your way. Nothing too amazing here, but this winds up an infield single and the brakes just keep going their way. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter, facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Indians five, and the Royals one. Billy Butler will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at-bats so far. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Now the pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. The pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Another 0-2 home. Now oh, he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Santana is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. That's telling of how they've swung the bat. This has just been a punchless offense. And this pop-up is pretty indicative of their struggles. Eric Hosmer will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Scott Downs will come on here hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. Scott Downs. First pitch on the way. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. Well, that's back-to-back -back curveballs right there, and he couldn't really square either of them up, and he's retired easily on the flyout. Alex Gordon is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Now here's the first pitch. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here it comes. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. The next 0-2. 
And he looks at a ball, one and two. But you don't want to get caught looking on the final out. So that's a tough pitch to lay off. And the pitch. And a good job there to hold back as the count moves to two balls and two strikes now to the Kansas City left fielder. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. You start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Break out the fire extinguishers. These guys are on fire. Seven straight wins. They've been as hot as any team in baseball, and they've really got things rolling out there now. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And guys, little doubt that the big bat here tonight belonged to this gentleman right here, Carlos Santana. Take a snapshot of that. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award. But what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Indians win this one 5-1. to one. Good night from Kansas City. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For Kansas City, one run, four hits, one error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 48 minutes. A reminder that Royals Express buses for downtown, Crown Center, Midtown, Plaza, Brookside, and Waldo are available for one hour after the final out on Lancer Lane along the third base side of the stadium. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Before the weekend series get underway, here are the highlights from Thursday's action. In the AL Central, the Indians were in KC to take on the Royals, and it was Cleveland who was victorious. The score was 5-1. to one. 
At the moment, the Royals are in last place in the AL Central. They're over 20 games out of first. The Chicago White Sox matched up against the Minnesota Twins at Target Field. The White Sox came away with the win, the final 4-3. Donnie Veal earned his seventh W in relief so far this season. Heading into today, the Twins sit in third place in the American League Central. They're over 20 games out of first. The White Sox are fourth in the division. They're over 20 games out of first. The Tigers paid visit to the OC to take on the Halos at Angel Stadium. The Tigers came away with the win. The final was 3 to nothing. Justin Verlander earned the victory on the hill, tossing a complete game gem. He currently has the most shutouts among pitchers in the American League. Looking at the standings, the Angels are in last place in the AL West, 16 games out of first. The Tigers sit in second place in the AL Central Division. They're over 20 games out of first. The Boston Red Sox took on the Blue Jays at the Rogers Center, and it was the Red Sox who came out on top. The final was 15-3. to Daniel Nava collected four hits and led the charge offensively for the winning side. Right now, the Blue Jays are in first place in the American League East. They have a small game-and-a-half advantage over second. The Red Sox are fourth in the division, ten-and-a-half back. The Rangers paid visit to Yankee Stadium to do battle with the Pinstripers. Texas was the winner, 7-2. to two. Alexi Ogando was victorious on the mound and picked up his 10th win of the season. As of today, the Yankees sit in second place in the American League East Division, only a game and a half back. The Rangers are in third place in the AL West. They're seven games back. The Astros did battle with the A's in the East Bay, and the Astros nabbed the victory. The final score was 9-6. to six. Matt Dominguez picked up five RBIs and really made the difference in this one. His modest hitting streak was also extended to five straight games. Heading into today, the A's sit in second place in the American League West. They're three and a half games back. The Astros are fourth in the division, 13 games out. The Orioles matched up against the Mariners in the Pacific Northwest. The Mariners came away with the win. The score was 8-5. to five. Brad Miller was a major force at the plate as he drove in four. Looking at the standings, the Mariners are atop the American League West, three and a half games ahead of second. The Orioles are in last place in the AL East, 11 and a half games out of first. The Marlins were in the ATL to match up against the Braves, and Miami was the winner. The score was 2-1. to one. Henderson Alvarez earned the win on the mound his 11th of the year. He currently has the most wins in the National League. At the moment, the Braves are atop the National League East division. They have a small game-and-a-half advantage over second. The Marlins are at the bottom of the division. They're seven games back. The Giants visited Eastern Pennsylvania to take on the Phillies. The Phillies came away with the win. The final score was 11-9. to Ryan Howard dominated at the dish with two long balls and six RBIs. He is currently among the NL leaders in batting average. As of today, the Phillies sit in fourth place in the National League East Division, five games back. The Giants sit in last place in the National League West Division, ten and a half back. The Padres were visiting the Cubbies at Wrigley Field in Chicago, and it was the Cubbies who came away victorious. The final score was three to two. Jeff Samarja was the winning pitcher in this one, his seventh victory of the year. As of today, he is in the top five in the National League in strikeouts. Heading into today, 